strength to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. In my life, I've been a part of multiple faith communities. When I was born, my parents brought me up learning and living the values of Christianity in this church. However, when I was seven, I became aware of my dad's alcoholism. This invisible disconnect between my faith and me began to develop because I started seeing this prevalent bad invade someone I looked to as a protector and guide. It was only after my dad refound and reconnected with God with the help of Alcoholics Anonymous to see that I began to see the truth of God and the paradoxes that we live in by living in him. I started going to AA with my dad when I was about nine. Suffice to say, the environment was a little different from the warm and cozy feelings I received in children's ministries. The first time I ever attended a meeting with my dad, I remember walking in wearing my bright orange crocs and holding my dad's hand while people smoked outside, swore, and drank a lot of coffee. I remember feeling the sense of rawness and vulnerability that I never experienced at church. In AA, I saw how people found God in their darkest valleys, not their highest mountaintops. In this way, the presence of God in my life spread outside of the walls of my church, and I developed a three-dimensional idea of God, a character defined not only by my church upbringing. It was through my dad's journey that I began to realize the true love of God outside the familiar Bible stories and church themes. AA is where I learned the serenity prayer, just as well as I learned the, the Lord's prayer. I remember countless conversations I would have and still have with my dad on what it means to live in serenity. For me, I learned that serenity is the expression of surrender found in acceptance. In other words, peace comes when I can surrender and accept the world around me. When I, get, when I can let go of my shame about my own wrongdoings, when I can let go and forgive the wrong things that have been done to me, when I can accept the truth that I can't control my future or my past. I found that the serenity prayer was connected to that one line in the Lord's Prayer that says, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. It's not enough to ask God to forgive us of what we have committed, but it is with acceptance we are able to ask God to forgive those who commit wrong by us. And when we do, we are the ones that get to live in peace. While on this earth, God gives us the opportunity to find peace. I learned that I do not have control over any time I have but the moment that is right in front of my eyes. I'm so thankful for my upbringing in the church because community taught me how to love people who, as who they are, not for what they've done. This church has given me values of forgiveness and understanding. Paired with this, my AA community has taught me to mentally live in the present. Through witnessing my dad's story, I can see how God does give us peace when we lean on him and relinquish our need for control. Isaiah 26, 3 says that, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. We can find peace in the unknown and trust in God for what is uncertain. While all of this, with all this I, that I have learned from the two faith communities I'm a part of, I, can, I have been able to see God in a new light and in the awe <coughs> of the beautiful paradox that he is. God's strength comes from our weaknesses, and when I released my grip on my need to have control over my life, I became strong in Him. I believe God seeks all of us every day and every second, waiting for us to give Him the reins in our lives. By losing power, we gain peace and rest. I believe the trade-off is so beautiful because by losing control, we can live in freedom. Eight years after that little girl walked into an AA meeting for the first time, I'm about to walk into another totally new place. I hope college will be a testament to what I have grown up living. God enters our lives when we give him the control and trust in him. Acceptance comes from releasing control and peace comes from acceptance. Yes, I'm afraid of what is to come next year. I'm frightened by the fact I won't have the same community around me constantly like I've had for the past 18 years. Yes, I'm worried that trials will arise in my life that will make me doubt everything that I know. But hoping for the best while expecting the worst is exactly what we have the opportunity to combat every day in our lives. This transition will maybe rocky, but I know that he is there and he is in control. My life belongs to him, and by accepting the fact that I am in the boat that he is steering, I will walk in hope and peace for the time to come. I trust in my Lord, and I pray that each and every one of you will find peace in him as well. Thank you.